Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here. And on this video, we're gonna be discussing how to perform Bluetooth reconnaissance using your mobile device. It's a great way to find uh, lost Bluetooth devices or to see if there's any hidden Bluetooth cameras around your house. So stick around, it's gonna be a great video. Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here. Uh, thanks for joining me on this video. If you're new to my channel or my videos, um, I am a cybersecurity professional, blogger. I also do stand-up comedy, but I like to talk about all things security and tech. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the topic and what you came here to see. Um, I became recently or recently became a little obsessed with Bluetooth technology, right? And what I really liked about it specifically was something called Bluetooth LE or Bluetooth low energy right now if you're not familiar with Bluetooth it'd be weird if you're watching this video you know what Bluetooth is but uh, obviously we know all Bluetooth we all know about Bluetooth right you know it's either in your car use it for your headphones keyboards all that stuff it uses some type of Bluetooth technology um, but there's another spectrum of this called Bluetooth LE or Bluetooth low energy right and this is specifically used for devices such as fitness trackers you might see it on those little air tags or little tags uh, little tile tag uh, tracker tile tracker I can't pronounce that word um, but they're specifically designed to just be very low energy and send out little beats beacons or little advertisements, right? And that's what's really fascinating uh, about this, right? Because it can be used for reconnaissance because it's constantly sending out little beacons about itself, right? Now, uh, from a technical standpoint, right? Bluetooth LE uses something called GAT, right? Which is a generic attribute profile, all right? And that's kind of how these devices communicate it's their information, such as, you know, their battery life, the model number, all that good stuff, right? Now, what's even more fascinating that it's continually always advertising this information, right? Now, if you know anything about wireless security, right? Um, there's an application called, or, or suite called Aircrack, and within Aircrack, there's something called AirMon, which is air monitor mode, right? And the whole idea behind it is that you can put your wireless card in something called into something called monitor mode, right? Now, what does that mean, right? So traditionally, when you try to connect to a wireless network on your computer, you go to settings, Wi-Fi, you see Wi-Fi networks that you're able to connect to, right? You don't see everything else, just, you know, Wi-Fi networks, and sometimes you might even see an ad hoc connection, but typically you just see networks you can connect to. But when you put your wireless card in something called monitor mode, you see everything, the entire spectrum, right? So you can see, you know, all the access points, even the actual unique identifying information about those access points. You see the clients that are trying to connect to it, like people's cell phones. You get to see all the beacons those devices are using to try to connect to those access points, et cetera, right? So it's a great way to see everything that's out there in wireless, right? So with Aircrack and Airmon, we're using those tools to put our device in monitor mode, right? And see all the wireless networks available. Now with the application, we're using on our mobile device called Bluetooth Hero, we're performing the same type of test or, or reconnaissance, but we're using our mobile device and we're using Bluetooth, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into my mobile device so you can take a look at how this actually works, right? So um, load up my phone real quick. All right, let's do it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and hop into my device real quick. So we're opening up uh, our app store and obviously this is the Apple app store. It's called Bluetooth Hero. So on here, we're able to see all the devices that are being discovered. We're able to see the unique identifying information about those devices, right? So we can see the manufacturer information. We can see the signal strength. Now, more specifically, when we actually start digging into this more, we're gonna start looking at the LE devices because these are the ones that are using the GAT standard, right? The generic attribute profile. To kind of show you in detail how this process actually works, we're gonna be using my Stadia controller, rest in peace, Google Stadia, uh, to show you exactly how you can use this application to gain more information reconnaissance wise about this controller um, so without further ado let's go ahead and turn on my controller it's on and then we're going to open up the application real quick so right now we're able to see our stated controller and as you can see the closer we get to the controller the stronger the signal strength the further we get away we get from the controller the lower the signal strength right you know it's basic <laughs> wireless uh technology but what we're going to do now is we're actually going to connect to this device using this application Hit pair completed its GAT discovery. And now what we're doing now is we're actually able to see the unique identifying information about device of this device. And this is kind of where the reconnaissance phase starts to happen because now we're getting those unique identifying informations about the specific beacon, right? So as we go back into it, we're able to go in here and now we're able to see the manufacturer information, right? So I can ask it to read the information and now it's gonna be able to tell me that it's a Google device, right? We can see the model number of this device, right? So we go here, we can see it's that this is the model number of it. We can actually hit read and it's gonna read the latest information off the controller right so with that in mind right we're able to see all the unique identifying information about the device we're able to see the manufacturer of this device um, a battery power of the device etc right so obviously there's nothing malicious we can really do with this right we can't you know hack into someone's device with this or anything like that right because this is just being used for reconnaissance right so let's talk about proof of concept or application to your real life right so let's say for example you have a retail outlet right and you want to see how many people are coming in and out of your store right 
With something like this, right, we're able to see all these Bluetooth devices that come and go from your store if you're tracking or logging all that information, right? And based on that information, you can get a good estimate of how many people are coming into your store and how many people are coming out of your store based on the unique identifying information uh, as it pertains to those LED devices, right? So it's not an exact science, but it gives you an estimate, right? Well, here's another example, right? As you saw, we can actually see the signal strength of my Stadia controller because of the LE signal, right? So let's say you lost your controller, right? Using something like this, you're able to find your assets or find your missing devices that use Bluetooth based on the signal strength, right? And last but not least, the, the, the sum of all fears, right? Is let's say you're staying at a hotel or let's say you're staying at a hotel or, um, or Airbnb and you, and you have a weird feeling, you think someone's watching you, right? Well, using something like this and in combination with a bunch of other tools, but using something like this, you can see what wireless devices are in your vicinity, right? What wireless devices are broadcasting, right? And using that process of elimination, you can see, all right, well, that's a Samsung TV that looks normal. That's a fridge that looks normal. What is this device that says mini camera? Something's up, right? So it's not a true a uh, true, uh, true way to find out, but it's a way to perform, you know, an analysis to perform reconnaissance about wireless, right? I highly encourage you, if you're really interested about this, take this, uh, take this application to somewhere public, right? Like a, like a gym or like the mall, and you will be surprised how many any Bluetooth signals you will pick up in a in a if just standing some and standing still for one minute how many Bluetooth devices you'll see you know it'll be 300 plus because Bluetooth LE and Bluetooth technology in general are so you know integrated into technology these days it's just normal for something to have Bluetooth whether it's your car car keys your your refrigerator your fitness tracker everything is somehow using Bluetooth LE technology right so in a nutshell, you know, to wrap it all up, this is a great way and a great tool to use if you're doing some type of, of reconnaissance work or if you're missing one of your devices or, you know, any other use case you might have for it, right? So, so with that being said, appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, check out this video. Please leave your questions and comments below. And until next time, my name is Edwin Pagan. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Peace. Alex, what are you doing? Watching my dad's channel. <laughs> you're watching your dad's YouTube channel?